everyone, I'm doing a Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile and I, this is going to be something new that I'm going to be adding to my channel if you like Yu-Gi-Oh or anything please hit that subscribe button and it will really help me out making videos like this I do actually have some YouTube, I mean uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on my channel I do, so I'll just, I'll just get into it, I'll just move the, the extra deck off to the side so let's start with like Oh, I'll pick that up later. So I've got two Star Serif Sage. It's a really good effect. It is, and you could like, you know, send. It says like you can send one spell card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one Star Serif monster from your hand. That's why I run two of these for. So yeah. So that's it for those two, and then I run two Star Serif Sword. Let's pick up that card. Let's drop the card on the floor. So I run two of these two of these guys. So like you can tell, you can send one Star Surf monster from your hand hand to the graveyard, and this card gains attack equal to that original monster's attack sent. Really cool. So these are like these cards belong to um, Dumon from the animated series for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. And next, I run two Star. Star Seraph Scout. So, like, if, if when this card it says like when this card is normal summoned. Oh, just sorting out my camera for a minute. Anyway, my camera stand. So it doesn't like do anything. So yeah, yeah sorry about that. Anyway, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one Star Seraph monster from your hand. So it's easy to like get out like Star Seraph Sword if you've got him in. The, if you've got this guy, the, this one in your hand, or Star Seraph Sage. But I wouldn't like, you know, summon. You, I wouldn't use the effect of like Star Surf Scout to get out Sage because, like, it says like when, like I just said, yeah, it says like when you can send one spell card from your hand to the grave and special summon this card from your hand. So, so basically, you always go for like, you always go for like Sword if you want to summon him. Anyway, to like use the effect of Star Surf Scout. Yes, yeah, so that's Star Surf Scout now. And then I got uh, these two, Star Seraph, Star Seraph something I don't really know Scepter, Scepter I think yeah Scepter I, I don't really know. So let me just zoom in so you can actually like read that. Oh, when this card is normal, when this card is normal, special summon you can add one Star Seraph monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, that's good as well. That's good as well. Yep, so I run two of these. I do because well, you need because all the uh, Baryon cards and that, yeah, that are in this deck. Some of them are like level four. Most of them are le like level four monsters and that. Yeah, anyway, so it's good to have like you know an, like extra level four monsters to bring them out. Then I got Star Surf so Sovereignty. Sovereignty. I just say, I don't really know this. I don't really know the names there because this is just like a new deck that I've just made. So there it is there. Put them up there. We go. Yes, yeah, so that's those two. And then I run two Umbral Horror Will of the Wisps because uh, when there's like a uh, like a a monster with zero attack points, the thing is like you can special summon this card. I think. Yeah, you can target one monster in your graveyard. So I've got two Umbral Horror Will of the Wisps. I will be playing this deck in there on Wednesday. That would be. But I'm not going to be doing a video on that duel or anything. I just prefer to do like deck profiles, I think, anyway. If you guys like this stuff, anyway, just like hit, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video and a comment down below on what deck I should do next. So I do actually have plenty of decks, I do, anyway. So you've got Umbral Horror Unformed. It's like when, so it's like when this card destroys, is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. While the attacking one, so you can special summon up to two Umbral Horror monsters from your deck. From your deck, which is really cool actually, because I've got well, I'm playing two of these, so like, so like, if one of them gets destroyed, I can literally just like, you know, just summon them back, like you know, summon two monsters, two Umbral Horror monsters from my, from my deck. And then you got uh, Umbral Horror Ghoul here. 
So you can so once per turn I can make you can make this well it just says here this card's attack zero and if you do special someone Umbral Horror Monster from with zero attack from your hand. So it's like when you if you have like Umbral Horror unformed in your in your hand or something, you can special summon you can like no, on the field. If you have Umbral Horror unformed on the field, then you have this card, and then you have Umbral Horror Ghoul in in your hand, you can special summon you can uh, you can special summon it. I'll make its attack point zero and special summon it. That's what he's doing there. And I think, yep, I'm on to uh, Mizar's card. Schwart I've got Schwartz Child Linnet Dragon. So it's like, if your opponent controls a monster with 2,000 or more attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. It's easy to get out Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon it is anyway. And I do actually have like, like Parsec, the Interstellar Dragon. So it's like, if you control a level 8 monster, you can, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Which is really cool anyway, because since I if I have Schwartz Child Lit Dragon on the field and have this and have Parsec in my hand, I can literally just normal summon it. Because I control a level eight higher monster and then go then XC's XC summon into um into Galax uh, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Number one hundred and seven Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. I do actually have like might as well just get like the rest of them out of the way. So I got these three, well I've got Radius the Half Moon Dragon. My opponent controls a Xyz monster. You can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do this, that this card's level becomes level eight. So if I don't have like Schwartz Child Linnet Dragon or anything in that, yeah, then I can just like then I can special summon Radius, and then it will become like if my opponent controls a Xyz monster, I can special summon this card, and its level becomes level eight. Then I can like if I pass sec in my hand, normal it. Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Hmm. Yeah, so that's those ones done. And now I think I'm on to Shark now. So I've got Right Hand Shark. So there's like the, uh, the thing if you want to pause it and read it. So I have those two. And then I also have like 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 left left hand shock. Let me just grab one of them so you can actually like. Yep. So this so there's sharks monsters that I'm just using for the for like only. And then moving on to uh, Marin. So I have Blizzard Falcon and Blizzard Thund Thunderbird. I don't know if I should put like another. Blizzard Thunderbird in this deck. I don't really know if I should because I do actually have one. So let me just like leave that up there. You can discard this card and special summon to two water wing beast type monsters from your hand. One, 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 one from your hand, one from your graveyard. Except Blizzard Falcon, then return this card from your field to the hand. Right. Then Blizzard Falcon. Yeah, so those are Marin's monsters. And then moving on to Alito. So I've got two battling box of Villa. Villa? I don't really know. <laughs> I can't really pronounce the names. And then I've got a uh, battling boxer Spur Spira? Spira? I don't really know. Sp Spara. Spara. That's it. Spara. So let me just like give you the. Oh. So, so if I control, it says so if I control battling, bo battling boxer monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, is so basically if I have like this one on the field in like defense mode or something like that. Yeah, if I like you know just like did that and then my opponent attacked it, but he but his attack but the, the attacking monster was too weak or something. Then when, it, when it's my turn, I can special summon. Spira from my hand. Spar Spara from my hand. Yeah, so those are uh, Alito's monsters that I'm just using for this deck. And then these are just proxies because I'm just like running. I don't have like uh, Gurag's hands, ha like hand monsters or anything. So I need like Fire Hand, Ice Hand. Uh, I think just like. Just those two, I think. Just eye, fire hand and ice hand. 
So these are what, these are what they're going to be. These these are what uh, they're going to be like fire, fire and ice hand. And then moving on to spells. So I've got rank up magic, limited barbarian's force. So there's the thing. And then I've got another one, another rank up magic card. Because you need like rank up magic cards, you anyway. Because you need to like you know rank rank them up into like into like their chaos forms. So then I've got another rank up magic, quick, quick chaos. And then another one here, rank up magic, numeron force. Because I don't think this is a utopia card. It's just, it just it just says like you target one face up exceeds monster you control a special summon from your extra deck one chaos number of the same type. So, there's the rank up magic cards that I run in this deck. Just like all, oh, just like four. I need to get the seventh uh, rank up magic, the seventh one, I do. And then I run Sargasso, the different dimension battlefield. Because it's like, right, every time, each time a monster is exceeded summoned, the summoning, the, summon, the summoning player takes 500 points of damage during each player's end phase. The player takes 500 damage if they control the face-up exceeds monster. But I have a way to get around Sargasso. So Sargasso a different dimension battlefield. And it's this one. Sargasso Lighthouse. It says when a spell spell effect that would inflict damage to you is, is activated, you take no damage from that effect while this card is in your graveyard. You take no damage from the effect of Sargasso the different dimension battlefield. When this card is set is is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Sargasso different dimension battlefield from your deck to your hand. So I run that. Then wait, let me just yeah. So those just those two I run, and then just like generic monster reborn, MST, terraforming, Swords of Revealing Light because I need. Like you know, just to like stall for time to like till like, I get the cards that I needed, and I think that's it, yeah, because it's just traps next. Now, moving on to the traps, so I have Vein Betrayer, then Mirror Force, Call of the Haunting, so just like get back one of the monsters, like if, if one of my monsters was destroyed, saying like Star. Say like a seraph, uh, an umber horror. Then I can, and then if I've like it on my field, like another monster on my field, then instant XC summon. And then Poseidon wave because I have like, um, like you know fish, fish types in my deck as well. So that's it for them. And now moving on to the extra deck. Not to the extra, so I just move that to the side and then grab. So I have number one hundred and one, Silent Honor Arc, and then with. So there's like the effect of it. Then I have uh, the Chaos number one hundred and one, Silent Honor Dark. So there's like the uh, writing for it. Yep. So there's those two. Just gonna put them over like that, and then I have Star Seraph Century. So there's like the writing for it there, yeah. And then I have Star. I mean, not Star. Uh, it's Chaos, Chaos Number One Hundred and Two, Archfiend Seraph. This is a really cool one as well. There's those two, and then number 103, Ragnar 0, and then, oh, let me just, and then number 100, and, well, Chaos, Chaos number 103, Ragnar Infinity, really cool card. Yeah, so they're like Marin's monsters. Or Rio, 
And then we have number 104, Masquerade. And then have like the chaos, chaos number 104, Umbral Horror Masquerade. So there's the other thing. Okay. Then we have Battling Boxer Star Cestus. Well, number 105, Battling Boxer Star Cestus. And then. And then Chaos number 105, Battling Boxer, Comet Cestus. Then number 106, Giant, Re Giant Hand. So there's the effect of it. And then, then Chaos number 106, Giant, Red Hand. Yep, so there's those, those two. Those are Garag's monsters. Then we have like my favourite one. Number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. There's the effect. And then the last one is its Chaos number. So Chaos number 107, Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. So these are Mizar's monsters, which is really cool. I love I love Mizar's monsters, they're really cool. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this deck profile, guys. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out. And leave a comment on what deck pro what deck I should do next. And I'll see and leave a comment down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.